Hi everyone. I thought I would do something a little different. Um, I had recently gone to Ulta and picked up a few things. Um, I had planned on just getting a lash comb and a brow pencil, but then I just felt like I needed to find this really nice taupe eyeshadow and I ended up buying the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So anyway, I thought it might be kind of fun just to show you what I had gotten and show you how I'd use it for the first time. This is the first time I've used any of this stuff. I just picked it up yesterday. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So the lash uh, comb and kind of brow brush I got was the Real Techniques. Um, I don't know what it's called. Lash Brow Groomer. So it's one that has the little metal teeth for the comb. I have another um, eyelash comb thing that's just plastic bristles, which does not work like at all. So I was interested in trying this, especially with the Jordana Bust Lash Extreme uh, mascara, because sometimes that can get a little chunky clumpy. So wanted to give that a try. Um, another thing I had gotten was this uh, Studio Gear Professional Brow Definer in medium brown medium ash actually what I had gone to Ulta thinking I was gonna buy was the um, Anastasia uh, the pencil version of the medium ash I had had the automatic pencil which I had finished and I wanted to try the pencil pencil just because I thought it might be a little bit easier to get a lot more color on quickly and they didn't have it the studio gear, this pencil, was a nice tone, it wasn't too red, and it was only $13, so that was like 10 bucks cheaper than the Anastasia. So I'm hoping it works out well. And last thing I got was the Naked 2 palette. I had kind of convinced myself I didn't need it, and then I kind of stared at it while I was in the store, and then I stared at it some more. Like, you know, these are all colors that I like and I would use. So, so I got it. Whatever, I like their formula, so I figure it's not a huge deal. <laughs> so um, I already did my face. I did foundation and concealer on these lovely spots, and eye primer, and blush, and under eye concealer, very light under eye concealer. So I think I'm going to do my brows first with this Studio Gear pencil. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna use my gigantic mirror inside the palette. I find brows to be one of the more tedious things to do, especially when you have brows like mine, which are fair enough that they kind of disappear on my face. So I really need to just get color all over them in order to get any sort of structure around my eyes and lately I've been using a powder the Urban Decay matte uh, powder and shakedown which is old discontinued line of matte shadows and it works well and it looks nice and everything but I find it to be a pain in the butt so so here we are using a pencil So even though I could probably do a blonde pencil, I find that the more, the darker tone, since my hair is kind of that medium brown, um, that is sort of like the color that my brows are, but just not solid, opaque. I don't know, I think it looks best, who knows? Maybe I'll change. I just, I really don't like a red toned brow color for me. I find it goes super, super warm and looks very unnatural. Because while I do have warm tones in my hair, I have uh, natural uh, blonde and red highlights. Um, overall, I think that ultra warm brow just, it seems out of place. Because overall the brown isn't terribly warm. Okay, that looks good. Good enough at least. 
So I'm just gonna brush through my brows gently with the brow end of my new little doohickey. I'm not needing to blend all that much just because it doesn't seem too crazy and opaque. So I am gonna use um, Foxy just all over my lid and a little bit up into my crease just to give me kind of a easy to blend on base. Because, you know, sometimes when you put um, the color, the, your main color, like right over a primer, um, it can be a little tough to blend since it's a little sticky. That's my experience at least. Um, next, I'm going to use, I think I'll use Pistol, which is more of a grayish taupe. Sure, I'll use that on the lid with the more flat brush side. Oh, I see fallout. Damn it. I was going to try to be careful about that since I already did my foundation and concealer and all that jazz. This is a pretty color. I like that it's not too metallic. That's one thing I do find about these synthetic flat brushes like this is they don't seem to grab onto the shadow as well as a natural hair flat shader brush okay so in my crease I think I'll use uh, tease the kind of cooler light brown and I'm gonna use the more blending side we'll see how that goes it's kind of big I'll try to be a little less haphazard about applying it this kind of reminds me of the color of hot chocolate. Like hot chocolate from a packet. Bit. I think I'll use a little bit of this busted color um, more in the outer corner area with the flat side of the shader brush and try to just kind of place that so it doesn't go everywhere. That's my plan at least. We'll see how it goes. I think I might go in with the blending brush to try to make this look a little smoother. And just kind of freshen up the inner corner of the lid with that pistol original color I did on the lid. Since it's gotten a little bit lost in all this. And I think under the eyes, I'm just going to use a little small amount of snake bite on the kind of lower lash line. Is that what I'm trying to say? All right, and last thing I'm going to use is Booty Call on my brow bone to give a nice shimmery highlight. A 
lot of times, um, since I don't have a lot of space uh, between like my lash line and my brows, um, my color tends to kind of blend up practically into my brows. So try sometimes to give a bit more of a separation. And I might as well just use that on my inner corner too. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of the lip gloss on and this is that Lip Junkie. It cools and plumps it says. It has a very nice minty taste to it. I have tried this out yesterday and it's in the shade Naked. What a surprise. I do think it's kind of a nice little sample size though. It makes it feel not so cheap because it's got this kind of cool lid on it. I'm gonna try out my little lash comb after I do my lashes with the Best Lash Extreme. So I find kind of swirling around the brush in the tube um, can help keep it from getting really gloppy on the brush. But since the, um, the uh, hole is fairly big in this tube, it can get really, really gunky at the top and on the brush. It does help when it's warmer. I know that it tends to get really stiff. Um, we keep the house during the winter at um, like 64 during the night, so um, it does get a little stiff. But it's been sitting in my lap, so it's warm. <laughs> anyway, anyway. See, I'm in desperate need of some lash comb action. Look how gloppy that is. That definitely worked better than my plastic comb. So that's my finished look with my new stuff that I got. Um, my Real Techniques Brow Groomer, Lash and Brow Groomer, the Studio Gear um, Pencil and Medium Ash for my brows, the little sample of the Lip Junkie Urban Decay Gloss and Naked, and my Naked 2 palette done all with the double-ended brush that came in the palette. <laughs> so um, let me know. I'm sure just about everyone has this palette. So, you know, if you do, awesome. <laughs> if you uh, have any favorites uh, shadow-wise in the palette, let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd be interested to find out if anybody has used this Studio Gear pencil and what they think about it. I, first impression is good. I really like it. I think it's a nice color. It's um, not too dark and it doesn't seem to have um, much for red tones in it, which I love. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, guys.